Hello, this is Dan again with Puts Ponds and Gardens. And what we'd like to talk to you today is, what do you do after the waterfall or pond or water feature is installed? Homeowners ask us all the time, what do we plant around it? What about my patio? Um, I wanna come out and enjoy this as much as I can. So, you know, can you give us some ideas? Well, I've been in the landscape industry, but I've been building ponds primarily for 36 years. And, you know, it comes with the territory. We don't build hardscapes and retaining walls and do a lot of um, outdoor plantings because primarily our work is all ponds, water features, and uh, pond-less waterfalls. So, um, but we do get those questions all the time. And I just had a conversation with a homeowner who has no idea what to do. She doesn't want to make any decisions herself, and that's okay. She wants to bring us in, so that way we can get some ideas going for her and you know, see what we can come up with. So we looked inside the house just to kind of get a feel for um, what her style is, and it's not postmodern, it's not eclectic or anything like that. You know, it's just a traditional feel. So we want to, take her style and bring it outside too. So we can kind of create an outdoor living space for her. Now we've already installed a, a pondless waterfall last year, um, and I'll show you that in a minute, but I want to kind of give you my thoughts on what I'd like to do for, the, um, for her outdoor living space. And it all starts right here when she pulls up the driveway, right here behind me, I want her to get that experience and have that feeling that she's glad to be home. So. Let me turn this camera around and I'll show you what my thoughts are. So as she's coming up her driveway here, isn't that a beautiful Jeep? That's the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. My vehicle, I love it. Anyways, so this is her entrance way to her backyard even though when she's in the house she comes out from the door wall but this is her entrance way and to me this is where it starts because when you come home from a hard day's work or just running up to the store you come home from dealing with traffic you want to kind of de-stress what i'm envisioning in this spot right here is because this is the end of a long driveway and we do live here in michigan um, we're going to need to create a space in here for when a snowplow driver comes in and they don't back drag it, they end up pushing it forward. So we're gonna have to leave room for a nice buffer of snow. So what I'm picturing here is maybe a flat top arbor here, some evergreen to tie into her existing evergreen hedge, trim those up, up and through here so we get a nice neat feel to it. She's got viburnum all down this side. You can see in the backdrop, she's got uh, forsythia. Now those won't be in bloom all season here. Um, so those will just be green. She's got a beautiful willow here and some nice maples that are along the side of the uh, property. These viburnum will be in bloom pretty soon here. So we're gonna do a little bit of a layered step down and bring the plantings out a little bit. Do evergreen to create like that fence here a, a flat topped arbor maybe with some trailing vines going up the top starting right here I'd like to go to a flagstone walkway and I want to use the one and done stones you know one piece step 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 all the way around the corner here and in between there I'd like to do the moss in between so coming around the corner do some focal plantings. We've got a nice hosta that we added last year, but I want to I want to step this down so it doesn't just look like, look like a nice wall of evergreen. I want to add some more color and some texture in here, and that way it'll eliminate the grass between these this planting bed and the sidewalk here. Now this side, um, yes, there'll be lawn in through along here, but then bring those one steppers all the way back to. A big step right here now one of her biggest things is she hates her furniture she's only got a table and some chairs 
By about three o'clock, that sun will be over the other side of the house. She entertains later in the day. She doesn't need a pergola. She doesn't need an umbrella or anything, but she'd like just a nice chair that she can come out and sit at. Um, maybe some benches, some flowers, some plants, all along not only this wall, but that back wall and through here. This back wall here, maybe even doing some planters um, with some trellis work going up. So we get some of that vertical height at the same time. So she's got a beautiful waterfall. The sounds are here, the sights are here, the birds come in and out. Um, we've got some perennials that'll be popping up again. Um, we've got some cone flower in here. This is a little annual pocket right here that we, last year we did some sun sunflowers. Um, we're gonna switch it up this year. We're gonna add some more purple palace in through here. This creeping Jenny has really taken off and I love it, the fact that it softens the rocks in through here. We're gonna add a couple more here, um, fertilize her uh, weeping spruce. So that way it kind of comes down just to kind of soften and, and help that waterfall blend in. Cover up any liner, do a little bit of mulching and things like that. But it'll be interesting to see what we come up with for not only plantings, but for furniture as well, because furniture is a big part of the outdoor living space. So we'll have a step that comes in here. Obviously it'll go around. Our guests will come up the driveway. They'll walk down the flagstone walkway and then come up to a really nice one step here. We'll, we'll dig the, the grass out put in one step to get up onto the patio. She had thought originally that she needs to pull this entire patio out and make it bigger. Not entertaining as much. She only has maybe two, three girlfriends that'll come over and they'll sit, enjoy an adult beverage and you know, just enjoy each other's company. We want everybody to have the experience and we want them to be able to live that aquascape lifestyle. So that way, They've got the water, but they've also got an outdoor living room. If you've got suggestions, put them in the comments below. I would love to hear them. That way, you know, maybe when we come back in about a month or two from this, we can show you just what we created for. Thanks for watching and make it a great day.